Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive and this morning we're visiting with Megan Treadway. She's Mammoth Cave Area Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences with Kentucky State University. You are going to be making a tropical pawpaw smoothie for us yes. today. But first you're going to tell us a little bit about pawpaw trees. Now, Absolutely. pawpaw trees are native to Kentucky, mm -hmm. but where can we find them in the wild? Yes, pawpaw trees are native to this entire region of the United States and a lot of people don't know that. Uh, you can find them in the hardwood forest understory so that's like the middle height of the forest and if you can find them along the edges of that forest or along a creek bank or a stream you're more likely to find fruit and blooms on those trees. Now like you said many people don't know about pawpaw trees. What do they look like? Sure. The pawpaw trees have these big beautiful almost drooping leaves so they really look like a tropical fruit tree and then the fruit grows in large bunches almost like over bloated bananas. So think about like that, how those hang from the tree and that's how you'll find the pawpaw fruit as well. Yes, they're a beautiful color. Now, how do we know when that pawpaw fruit is ripe? Pawpaw fruit grows green and stays green throughout the duration. So the color of the fruit is not a good indication like other fruits of its ripeness. So when you are trying to harvest pawpaws, you wanna look for a fruit that will just easily detach from the tree. If it gives you a little more resistance, it's probably not ripe enough. And if you see fruit lying on the ground around the base of the tree, then you know that that tree's got some ripe fruit on it. So best described, if you've never tasted it before, as a blend of banana, mango, and maybe a little bit of pineapple flavor. Now, Megan, I did read that pawpaw fruit has a custard-like texture. Yes, very smooth texture, almost like an avocado. And then it makes food like our smoothie today very smooth and creamy. Mm. Now, can we find pawpaw fruit in the grocery store? No, pawpaw has very little shelf life, so maybe two days maximum. You may be able to find it at a local farmer's market, but you're more likely to find it in the wild or if you wish to plant those trees around your home. Now, Megan, you all have a list of nurseries that sell pawpaws, correct? Yes, we do. You are welcome to contact Kentucky State University and you'll be able to find those nurseries that are closest to you that will sell the pawpaw trees. Alrighty, great. Well, Megan, what are you making for us today? Yes, okay, so today we're making a tropical pawpaw smoothie. It's one of my favorite ways to eat pawpaw. I love the cold um, temperature and the texture, that smooth creaminess. And we are using frozen pawpaw. Okay. So it, because pawpaw has no shelf life, it's really good to freeze that. You can keep it for up to two years. You just need to separate the seeds from the pulp and just freeze the pulp. So okay. either run that through a food mill, mesh bag, colander, push it through and then freeze that pulp. So how much pawpaw do we have yes. here? Okay, so we have half a cup of frozen pawpaw, but I chose to freeze it in an ice cube tray just okay. to make it easier to get out and that's about four cubes. Okay. All right, so we're gonna add our half cup of frozen pawpaw. Okay. The great thing about this is almost everything is frozen, okay. so we do not need to add ice. Awesome. And then one cup of mango juice. Mm, and, and I really think you could substitute pineapple juice, probably orange juice, I don't yeah. know if that would overpower it, but mango juice isn't always the easiest to find. Okay. So just Maybe find a juice apple that you like. Juice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then to that one fourth cup of frozen mango, one fourth cup of frozen pineapple. Mm. Lots of tropical flavors. Love the pineapple. And because we're still going to have a smooth and creamy texture, we're just going to use half a banana. Okay. Then we'll just blend until smooth and creamy. All right, now that it is blended to a smooth and creamy texture, we're just gonna serve that up. 
It looks so good and It's creamy. a pretty bright orange color. And you have this fun green yeah. straw that we can stick right in there. And a great way to try Paw Paw for the first time. Yes. Megan, if someone wants more information on Paw Paws, how can they contact you? Yes, give us a call at the Kentucky State University West Regional Center. Our phone number is 270-782-0982. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.